Hi. As promised a few weeks back, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Unity's new UT61E Plus and Anon's ANA70. For those who have not watched my review videos of these two multimeters, I'd recommend you watching those first, as the goal of this video is not meant for a detailed review, but rather to contrast some of the features of these two meters and help you decide which one better fits your needs. Off the bat, I wanted to make it clear that these two meters are technically not really in the same league. For instance, the UT61E Plus is a 22,000 count meter with bar graph, whereas the ANA70 is a 19,999 count meter without the bar graph. Well, close enough, but the UT61E does have an edge in that regard. And the same goes with a couple of other areas. For instance, the UT61E Plus offers PC connectivity and the ANA70 does not. So if you require data transfer capability, you will have to go with the UT61E Plus between these two, since the ANUM does not have that functionality. Also, the UT61E Plus offers AC plus DC measurement mode, which comes in handy in some areas where both AC and DC components are present, and the ANUM A70 again does not offer AC plus DC measurement. So then you may ask why we are comparing these two meters together at all. Well, the truth of the matter is that while the UT61E Plus has some slight edges in both resolution and functionality, it also comes at almost twice the price as the ANA70. So which one you ended up choosing totally depends on what your priorities are from these meters. And hopefully by comparing some of the features side by side, you can make your decisions easier. The very first thing I wanted to point out are these range switches. The reason I make a big deal out of these is because you use them every day, and they do affect the overall feel of your multimeter experience. They also have some significant implication of the long-term reliability of the meters. So if you compare them side by side, you will see that the Unity one is a little bit on the softer side, is not very definitive as I mentioned earlier, and sometimes you do get stuck between the ranges. Whereas the ANA one is, uh, in my opinion, unnecessarily too stiff. But if I have to choose between these two, I think the ANA one is slightly better, as it does give you that definitive feel where you land it on the switch. Whereas for the Unity UT61E, sometimes you get stuck, and I can show you here. Uh, yeah, you get stuck between the ranges here. So that sometimes is very annoying. And uh, in terms of the clarity of the displays, both are very, very good, and uh, especially the Unity one. And it doesn't really do its justice on camera. The ANA one has a little bit of ghosting from this angle, and also the display, although very, very clear, is not as crisp as the one that is on the Unity UT61E. And before I forget, let me comment on the probes came with these meters. The ANA70 came with this very, very cheap feel probes, whereas the UT61E does come with this longer and also gold-plated probes. So certainly that is something to keep in mind when you are choosing these two meters. Now back onto the display, both of these units have a backlight. So if I turn them on, you will see that the Unity UT61E is a little bit of a darker than the Anon, but uh, uh, the reading angle is pretty good, especially for the UT61E. The, on the Anon one, some angles you do see the readings get washed out pretty bad, and uh, also it happens somewhat on this UT61E, but that's to be expected from a backlight perspective. But the backlight is a lot more uniform on the UT61E compared to the ANA70. And next, let's take a look at the update rates for the measurements between these two meters. For that, I'm going to switch to millivolt mode. And you will see that the update rates on the Anon is significantly faster than the UT61E+. Plus. In fact, it's spec at uh, about three times per second, whereas for the UT61E, I think it's just about two times, two, three times in that interval. But uh, nevertheless, you can see that the display is significantly faster on ANA70. Although for the AC measurement range, you will see that the speed of these two meters are actually quite comparable. In my previous review with the CUT61E+, Plus, I mentioned that it doesn't like certain waveforms at certain frequency. For instance, right now, I'm outputting a triangular waveform at uh, one hertz, 
and the amplitude is uh, roughly at 2.2 volts with an offset of uh, 2 volts. So this is a waveform that caused some problem with this uh, UT61E+. And right now you can see that both meters are actually measuring the same waveform. With the anon right now is showing the AC reading. It's jumping a little bit because we are at such a low frequency, but uh, you can see that the UT61E, the DC reading, basically just uh, oscillating back and forth. Now let's uh, switch this anon to the DC reading. And we see that we also have similar issue but uh, let's uh, concentrate on the AC reading. Let's do AC plus DC. And you can see that the AC reading is also all over the place on this. And the issue comes in when we switch it to the AC measurement mode on this Unity UT61E. Let's take a look at here. And it totally goes haywire after a while. As you can see, that is not able to auto range or detect the correct reading here at all. So for that specific uh, measurement case, I think the anon does win out. Now there's some homework for the Unity engineers to do. Now I have the inputs of uh, both of the meters tied and uh, hooked up to a variable power supply. So let's uh, quickly ramp up the voltage and see what we got here. And you can see that. Both of these meters measure the actual output with no problem, and also the speed is relatively fast. And of course, for both of these meters, you can also fix the range instead of let it auto range. So let's uh, fix the range and do the measurement again. And now let me ramp up the voltage. And you will see that we actually do have the nice touch of this UT61E with the bar graph you can clearly see where the voltage landed before the reading stabilizes. So that's the benefit of having that bar graph here, whereas the anon does not have that uh, functionality. If you just compare the spec sheets between these two meters, you will see that the ANA70 actually has a slight edge in terms of uh, both accuracy and error tolerance. But I would take those uh, specifications with a little bit of grain of salt because the UNIT, after all, is a fairly well-known brand. So I would actually trust the specification for this meter a lot more than the anon one. In my earlier video of this ANA70, I did mention that uh, in the millivolt range, we do have this one extra digit compared to the UNIT UT61E+. But as to how useful that extra digit is, is uh, debatable. As you will see that we are not able to discern that last digit in the low microvolt range. So for that, I'm going to demonstrate again with both those meters hooked up to my voltage standard. And right now, both readings are rolled out and they're showing zero. So let me start dialing in the voltage one microvolt at a time. One microvolt. Two microvolts, three, four, and as you can see that uh, the reading of the last uh, digit here on the ANA70 doesn't really reflect what is uh, currently being dialed in. Five. I wanted to pay attention to the UT61E+, and you can see that when we dial to 5 millivolts, it does start flickering this 1 at the last significant digit, which means it did register that we are actually dialing in the correct voltage here. So right now I'm, for example, at 6 millivolts. You can see that we started seeing that 1 a little bit more, whereas the ANA70 is still stuck at a random number here. So 7 8, 9, 10. So, so far, I would say that the UT61E Plus clearly is more accurate in terms of uh, the millivolt measurement, even though it has one less significant digit. And you can see that for the ANA70, it is measuring all over the place. So now let's uh, dial it back to zero, and we start uh, 10 microvolts at a time, 10. 20. And you see that once we hit that uh, 20, we started seeing this uh, ANA70 registering correct reading. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 
And uh, next, let's take a look at the resistance measurement mode. And you will notice how slow the ANA SMP is. So let's uh, just do it side by side. And I'm going to close the leads here. You can see that the ANA SMP is at least a couple of seconds slower than the measurement of this UT61E+. And this becomes more evident in the real world measurement. So let's just uh, give it a quick test here. So for that, I'm going to use ANA70. You will see that it takes uh, quite a bit of time to measure this 100 ohm resistor, whereas for the UT61E, we'll see that it's almost instantaneous here. In my opinion, the fast resistance measurement of the UT61E Plus is a clear winner here. And in terms of the maximum resistance can be measured by these meters, they're actually quite comparable. For the UT61E Plus, you can measure up to 220 mega ohms, whereas for the Anon ANA70, you can measure up to roughly 200 mega ohms. And those are limited by the count of these two meters. As for the capacitance measurement, I think the Unity's UT61E Plus also has an advantage here. It can measure up to 220 millifarads, whereas the Anon A70 can only measure up to 10 millifarads. And in terms of the frequency measurement, I think the UT61E Plus also has an advantage here, as it's able to measure up to 220 MHz versus the 10 MHz for the Anon A70. Although we saw that above 45 MHz, the UT61E Plus is also struggling a little bit, but nevertheless is able to measure much higher frequency than the ANA70 here. Of course, the ANA70 offers a temperature measurement, whereas the UT61E Plus does not, but it offers HFE measurement, so it's neither here nor there. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you from a side-to-side -side comparison perspective of these two meters. Personally, I'd pay a premium for the more expensive UT61E if I have to choose one or the other for the following reasons. First, Unity is a rather well-known brand in making quality test equipment, so I trust the specifications and the long-term reliability of their products. Second, the extremely fast resistance measurement mode alone would worth the extra money, in my opinion. In fact, that is one of the primary reasons I use the BK2709B as my primary meter, as that meter also has a very fast resistance measurement. The Unity UT61E Plus is actually slightly faster than the BK2709B in resistance measurement mode. And third, the PC connectivity via the included USB dongle opens the door for automated testing and data logging, which is something I found very useful. I would love to hear which meter you'd rather buy if you can choose only one. Please leave a comment below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. I will catch up with you next time.